Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I want to show you how you can make your very own bath salts. It's actually really easy. And I decided to do this because I had a lot of questions um, after I put out my sleepy time bath recipe video on how one could make their very own bath salts. And so, um, like I said, it's a really easy recipe. And the ingredients that you will need are natural sea salt. Make sure that all of these ingredients are non-iodized. Epsom salt. And I talk about all of these benefits of these bath salts in my sleepy time bath recipe video. And if you haven't seen that video, you can feel free to check it out here. Uh, the next ingredient that I put in is baking soda. Helps to soften the skin. Kosher salt. And finally, essential oils, because they're essential. <laughs> um, usually I would be using lavender essential oil, but because of the time of year and the fact that allergies are lurking, I am going to use a combination of eucalyptus and peppermint. And the reason is because these two essential oils combined are really good at opening up and clearing the sinuses. And they're also just a really good smell. <laughs> they, um, it's very minty, very cooling and exhilarating and invigorating. So that's why I included these. Really good at just, um, opening up the respiratory system. Um, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is, this is the finished product, but I will be um, taking off a label. This actually um, was a container for pepper, so it's got a big pepper label over it. So I will be removing that with some warm, lovely water, which I hope you enjoy, and then I will be removing the rest of the label with um, a combination of, of removers, and then I will uh, move on to putting all the ingredients in. So uh, this is the recipe, and I hope that you enjoy. The first thing that I'm going to do to prepare for the bath salts is prepare my bottle. Now you can use any bottle that you'd like, but I personally uh, really like this glass bottle. It is from a pepper container. It's a gourmet pepper, but I've washed it out and now I just need to take off the label. I just really love the look of it because of the Pork and the fact that it's glass, it's just very, um, very nice looking, very elegant looking, and especially for, um, being a new container of bath salts. So now I am gonna go ahead and take the label off with the help of some water. So the first thing I'm gonna do... of water here and it's got bubbles in it because I put some 
Sam Bennett. So yeah, grab my towel. Okay, so I've got my towel ready and beside me. I'm just gonna start working away. I just want to get the label nice and moist so that it will peel off with ease. I'm just going to soak it in here for just a minute. Whoops, I probably should have taken the cork off first. <laughs> Whoopsies, set that down. Put it all the way to the bottom. And let me see now. I washed out the bottle just before I did this, but I can still smell a faint aroma of pepper, which is a little bit contradictory to our bath salts. Even though I can be clumsy sometimes, I still love using glass bottles in bath salts and bubble bath concoctions. There's just something so classic about glass bottles, especially if they've got that um, the cork that this one does. Very luxurious looking. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love it. So I'm just trying to peel all of this away. See if the other side's any better. Ooh, that one's a little bit better initially. If you would like to get a, um, a glass bottle, They are available at the grocery store, I think in the baking aisle. If you just get those little jars that you put preserves or jelly in. But since I created this mixture to hopefully fit the size of this bottle, But you can, you know, bath salts are very customizable, so you can use more or less than the recipe that I give you. Okay, let's see if this part is any better. Mm, a little bit.
hard because when my hands become moist, so do my nails, and then kind of tricky because my nails want to bend a lot more than they should want to right now. So the top layer of this sticker is pretty much all off now and so I'm ready to move on with the next step of removing the rest of the sticker. So I'm going to take away the bowl in just a second. Let's see if I can scrape anything else off. dry off the bottle or the jar, whatever you would like to call it. Now again, you can of course skip all these steps if you didn't just find a, a random glass jar to use. But if if you are in this kind of situation and you still have all of this um, sticker residue, then the next step is going to be to remove the sticker residue. So what I am going to use to remove the sticker residue, I'm going to use two, um, two removers. The first one is this uh, goof off. <laughs> It is a remover for adhesives, glue, asphalt, tar, dried latex, paint, wax, crayons, gum, and um, sticker residue. Comes in, I think, a tin can because it has got some really serious chemicals in it. Now, the other remover that I'm going to show you, which I'm really excited about, lemon essential oil. Because believe it or not, this actually does get rid of um, about as much as this uh, goof off the pro strength remover. So we're going to go ahead and um, give this one a try. We're going to start with the Goof Off, <laughs> such a funny name, going to start with this one, um, and it, it does have a lot of abrasive chemicals in it, so um, it's recommended that you wear gloves. So I'm going to put on some gloves first. And 
I'm just gonna leave this one without any gloves on so that in case I need to Do this for example. Okay, go. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one side. I guess I'll do this one here. I'm gonna use a cotton ball so I can have a little bit more control. a strong smell. Of course, I don't actually dislike the smell, which is probably not good, but so this is coming off very nicely. I'm sure that if, if my fingers touch it minimally, that no harm will be done. Just don't do it excessively. Just like that. It should be fine. So this is going very well. I feel a little bit of stickiness still. Oh, it's pretty much all gone. So look at that, we are already halfway done. I purchased the Goof Off, <laughs> such a funny name, um, I have some on my hands, it's probably not good for anyone, it's okay, don't do this at home. <laughs> I purchased the Goof Off from Home Depot, so I'm sure that you can get it at any uh, appliance store and that will be fine. Okay, so since we're about halfway done with that, I haven't touched this side yet, so you can see if the lemon essential oil is just as effective for any skeptics out there. I hope it doesn't let me down. <laughs> okay, so I've got my cotton ball. I can take off my gloves now. up my lemon essential oil bottle here and just the same um, let's put that over here just the same as the goof off I'm going to just put a few drops onto the cotton ball And let's see what it does. Now this side has been partially um, in contact with the goof off. So let's see if this part, which has been completely not in contact, let's see how that works. Not too bad. And of course, I put significantly more goof off on the other side, so I might need to reapply in a second. Oh, wow. That went fast. Awesome. So, it looks like the lemon essential oil is 
doing a pretty good job of removing. And it doesn't seem to be sticky either. on chugging along and another great thing about lemon essential oil especially if you don't like the smell of chemicals unlike some strange people pointing to self um, is that it smells wonderful I mean you know it smells like a lemon I love that that clean citrusy scent oh gosh um it's definitely one of my favorite smells and here you have it our label is all the way gone which is very cool i have been um holding on to this bottle for a little while now my dad actually saved it for me getting some of the residue off of my fingers. And I was so glad that he did because I love this bottle, if you can't tell by now, <laughs> and how much I've said it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is all good to go. Awesome. The only problem is that it's still not dry. If you can see, there's some, some bubbles. So, we're just going to I still have a little bit of residue on my fingers okay all set so I'm just gonna wipe all that off And we are going to go ahead and set this guy to dry. And meanwhile, we will start mixing the ingredients for the bath salts. So I've got my mixing bowl here. And the first ingredient that we're going to start with is going to be one and a half cups of sea salt. So got our natural sea salt here and it's non-iodized which is necessary because we don't want to be bathing with an iodized sea salt okay so got a little mixing cup here Pour the sea salt into the cup. And like I said, it's going to be one and a half cups. So it's going to be all the way to the top. going to be this entire thing, which I actually did not anticipate, but that's okay. a little bit more. is 
is roughly one and a half cups. And so now we're just going to pour it straight on in here. sea salt taken care of and the next ingredient is going to be our Epsom salt and that is three quarters of a cup so we've got our Epsom salt here I don't think it's gonna be running out of space here. Here's our Epsom salt. Um, so I'm going to pour this into our measuring cup. Hopefully there's not a huge clump in this one. I think that with this clump, this will be three quarters of a cup. Let's see. Yeah, it's just about. So we're going to pour that in here to our mixture. you can use a spoon or you can just use your clean hands like I am <laughs> okay so we're halfway done the next thing that we need is half a cup of baking soda I'm gonna move this mixing bowl for just a second We've got our baking soda, and it's going to be half a cup. Uh-oh, this one's going to be hard, too. Let's see if we can. To our to our mixing bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up without my hands this time. Making sure to get all of these little lumps here so that we'll have a nice smooth mixture okay maybe I will get my hands in there a little bit just so we can crush 
pressure problems. Mumps. For this particular mixture, I'm going to put in just a little bit of kosher salt. kosher salt will just make your water even more salt watery and sea salt water is very very healing for the body Now that we're pretty much free from clumps and lumps and everything, a few more little ones, we're going to apply our essential oil, which is going to be peppermint and eucalyptus. So I'm going to use six drops of each, starting with eucalyptus, six to eight drops, sometimes one or two sneaks in there. Okay, blend in that eucalyptus. Mmm. I can smell it already, and it smells really good. Okay. And now, the peppermint. smells equally as wonderful. Just blend that in as well. If you have sinus problems or if you have allergies, the combination of peppermint and eucalyptus is wonderful because it opens up your respiratory system and it gives it a really nice opening, <laughs> hence opening up the respiratory system, but it just, it's it's an extremely uplifting smell as well, the combination of peppermint and eucalyptus, very invigorating, very cooling. Okay, so the last thing for us to do now is to put our mixture into the glass jar, and that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to use this little bowl as a way to scoop it in and pour it and I think that this mixture was just a little bit too much for this glass jar to fit um, for, to fit into the glass jar and so I'll just put the rest of 
the mixture into a smaller glass jar and use that for a bath tonight. <laughs> That's just about full. And there you go. Homemade, natural, inexpensive, do it yourself bath salts. If you make a lot of them, you can um, label them. I like to uh, label a lot of mine just so I don't get them confused, especially if I have, you know, different um, combinations. So for this one, I would put down peppermint eucalyptus because that was the essential oil choice I used. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope that you'll, um, that you will make some for yourself or a loved one, maybe your wife or your mom or your grandma, <laughs> pretty much, um, it really is a treat for everyone, no matter if you're a man or a woman. Um, they're just wonderful, healing, great, great additions to your bath. So, I hope that you have a wonderful, restful, peaceful day or night. And I hope that you'll join me again sometime soon. Today, I would like to show you how you can make your very own sea salts. That's not right.